Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In front of me, you can see I have a few different items and they're what I consider to be the boring bits of tech that us as creatives have to buy. Tripods, Gorillapods, whatever, you know, something to hold the camera on. Again, it's not that exciting, but it's something we have to get. Hard drives, again, we all need them. We need heaps of them and you know, that they're not that exciting. And lastly is filters. Up until this point, again, it's an expense that not all of us feel like we wanna spend because they can be expensive, but we need them, right? We need ND filters if we wanna shoot video outside in bright daylight, circular polarizers for like landscape photography and all those things. These are things that we need to own as creatives, just not necessarily things we want to spend money on. However, I've recently been using the Polar Pro circular polarizing filter because Polar Pro reached out to me, full disclosure, you know, asked if there was any filters that I needed and I'd send it out. They did, however, say I didn't have to do a video on it. So this is just purely out of left field. And the reason I'm doing a video on it is because I'm excited about this, which is kind of strange because it's not necessarily something you would get excited about. Let me explain. So normally you go out, you buy a filter, that's the end of it, you know, you chuck it on the camera. However, when this came in the mail, I was absolutely blown away by the care and detail put into the packaging. And as a creative, you know, as someone who likes photography and videography, aesthetics are really, really important. And I'm sure there's a bunch of you out there that think the exact same way. And so as I was unboxing it, it wasn't like opening a filter, which you know normally is just kind of like a meh kind of experience. So it comes in this box with a nice graphic on the front. You know, you've got your black and gold, the colors of Polar Pro and you know, it's nice. But then when you open it up, that's when you get the special box with this beautiful graphic and you know, this sort of like gold text. And the most important part is this magnetic or oh, latch. You know something's high quality when they're putting magnets in the packaging. And this opens up like so to reveal the product on the inside. And it is just like, I feel like the best packaging currently goes to like Apple. You know, it's nice and clean and modern, no frills, but it's, it's very beautiful. This is like next level. So in here, the filter comes in this at the front in a metal carrying case. This thing is also magnetized. Ooh, let me if I can open it, yeah. So it magnets shut and this thing is tough. You know, it's made of metal, except for the like the rim is plastic and this is going to, you know, protect the filter from pretty much anything. Obviously on the inside, you do have your filter, which again, I'm not sure if it's magnets, but it just fits very beautifully in the slot there. And then it has a nice protective piece on the front. And the filter itself is also quite, breathtaking you know it's got this nice sort of bronzy gold ring on the front and that's the bit that you can twist to change the intensity of the polarizer uh, that gold rim is on all their filters uh, but on the circular polarizer and variable ND it does actually twist which is quite nice so you can control the intensity and it feels very very nice I've had a few different brands of filters and some of them have a very plasticky sort of exterior, at least around the filter section. This is metal, feels very nice, and it's nicely dampened. Again, like the first filter I ever bought, I think it was a Hoya filter, and that was super, super loose. Like I could shake the camera and it would adjust the intensity of the ND filter. And the next one I got the Gobi filter, which I'll link a description if you want to check that out. It's a nice budget option for you guys. It was the opposite, it was too stiff. It was almost a pain to change the intensity. However, this one is, I feel like it's just right. It's perfectly dampened so that you can make the adjustments you need. So anyway, that goes in the box like so. Nice that it comes with that. But there is more. Normally you just get the filter, but not with Polar Pro, they give you more. So under the foam insert, we have a little card here, which is a warranty card. It comes in this beautiful, beautiful like like that is detailed. This little envelope here with like the shiny black and the gold writing. It's a nice touch for them to actually go out of their way to do that. So that's where your warranty card will be. Then further on the inside, you get this pouch. So if you don't want to use the hard case, you can chuck your filter in this one and it is very well padded, made of like this sort of weatherproofy material. 
big Velcro zipper on the Velcro zipper, Velcro pad on the front. So, you know, you can store your filter in there if you want to. You don't have to use this. I'm not sure why. I think this is nicer, but again, you know, people are different. People can do whatever they want, but that's still not it. So we have a few bits of documentation. So this little booklet comes with the filter and I'm pretty sure it comes with all their filters. It's like a little help, little help pamphlet thing that you maybe want to keep on you. It actually goes through the different purposes of ND filters and polarization filters, what they actually do, whether they're for photo or video, and also has like a little quick start guide, how to use it, how to store it, and that sort of stuff. So that's kind of cool that it comes with. This, and again, it is a really nicely designed sort of quick help little thing. You also get a couple of like thank you cards and sort of promotional material, kind of like pamphlets for other products that they sell, but they're still really, again, aesthetics are important guys. And these are really nicely designed and you know, it's cool. They come with it. Stickers, mandatory stickers. So you can rep your Polar Pro brand, uh, white and black. So that's cool. You know, can't say no to some free stickers. And last but not least, we get not one, but two cleaning cloths. So we have a simple, black one here, which is Polar Pro branding in the corner. And then we have this one, which comes with a nice photo sort of decal, I guess, on there. Uh, I mean, it's really attention to detail. Like I, again, the two filters that I've had previously, they didn't really come with all of this stuff. I know the Gobi one came with a lens cloth, but like, look at all this stuff. This is just for one filter. Uh, and they do this for all the filters you get. And I know that the Peter McKinnon variable ND filters, they come with even more stuff. Color me impressed. There are links below if you wanna check out the Polar Pro filters. They are affiliate links, so a little bit of a kickback for the channel, no extra expense to yourself. So check them out below if you wanna see. They are at the more expensive sort of range. So if you are on a budget, again, Gobi filters, that video was linked at the start of this one. So check that one out, cause that's a bit of a budget option. Generally, if you're gonna put a filter on front of your lens and your lens is expensive, then you're gonna want an expensive filter cause you don't wanna ruin the quality. Polar Pro, like, I'm impressed. Anyway guys, that's it for this one. Until the next video, see ya.